to another Turkish shop video. Uh, this month uh, I'm going to do a tag video uh, which is called uh, My Country Book Tag. Uh, and uh, I thought uh, this tag video would fit uh, perfectly with the theme of the uh, video series that I'm doing. Uh, and uh, this tag was originated by Reads and Eats. Uh, I will link uh, the original uh, video down below. And in her video, she did her own country, Scotland. Uh, she uh, found uh, titles uh, starting with the letters of Scotland, SC uh, and so on. Uh, but uh, in my video, uh, I'm going to take a different approach uh, and I will choose uh, Turkish books uh, translated to English. Either the names or the uh, surnames of the authors uh, would form the word uh, Turkey. Those books uh, that I've chose uh, are the books that I did not read yet. Uh, so these books will also be uh, like my uh, long-term TBR for Tur Turkish shelf video series. So let's start with the word Turkey. For T, I'm going to choose an author whose surname starts with T, Ece Temel Kur'an. And uh, the book that I'm going to talk about is The Woman Who Blew On Nuts. Uh, this book was first published in February uh, 2013 in Turkey with the original title, Düğümlere Üfleyen Kadınlar. Its English edition was published in 2017. Uh, I'm going to read the Goodreads synopsis uh, for those books uh, because, uh, as I said before, I, I did not read them and I do not know what the books are about. A phenomenon in Turkey uh, with more than uh, 120,000 copies sold, Woman Who Blew On Nuts chronicles a voyage re reaching from Tunisia to Lebanon taken by three young women and uh, Septu Agerernian Madame Lila. Although tr the three young women embark on the road for different reasons, uh, for each holds a dark secret, uh, it is only at Journey's point of no return that Lila's own murderous motivations for the trip become clear. Unique and controversial in its country of origin for its political rhetoric and st strong, uh, typically Muslim female characters, Tamal Kran weaves an empowering tale that challenges us to ponder not only the social questions of politics, religion and women in the Middle East, but also the universal bonds of sister and motherhood. Ultimately, the novel begs the reader to mediate on the greatest problem women face today. Can the power we hold make us happy and how? I'm really interested in reading this book. So uh, this, this uh, one will certainly in my uh, sh short term TBR. Uh, for the letter U, uh, I also chose an author whose surname starts with uh, U. Uh, it is an author that I've talked about before, Ahmet Ümit. Uh, and the book that I'm going to talk about is A Memento for Istanbul. Uh, the book was first published in Turkish with the original title, Istanbul Hatırası, in 2010. It is the fourth book in Inspector Ikman series. Uh, which is a detective series featuring Çetin Ikman, uh, an inspector in Istanbul. The English edition was published in 2011. Uh, the third book was in the series, was also translated to English, but I read it previously, so I could not use it for this tag. Uh, uh, the good synopsis uh, is as follows. A thrilling take which moves back and forth through time, from the early days of Byzantium to the thriving metropolis of Istanbul. A corpse is discovered at the base of the statue of Atatürk in Old Istanbul, an antique coin left in its hand. But it's not to be the last corpse and the bodies soon began to pile up. And so the hunt for the killers begins. Seven murders, seven sovereigns, seven coins and seven ancient monuments. Which with one thread binding them all the history of the, one of the world's mysterious and most dazzling cities. Inspector Ikman series is one of the series that I'm currently in the middle of. As I've said before, I previously read the uh, second and the third book, but uh, I think I'm going to reread uh, the series uh, starting with the first one, which I did not read. Uh, so uh, this book will take a, a while to get, uh, but I'm really excited uh, considering the synopsis is very interesting. Our next letter is R. Uh, I also chose an author whose name starts with R, uh, Nazım Hikmet Rand, uh, and the work that I'm going to talk about is 
Human Landscapes from My Country, an epic novel in verse. This story, written in verse, was first published in 1938 with the original title of Memleketimden İnsan Manzaraları. The English edition was published in 2002. And the synopsis is as follows. When, on the eve of Second World War, Nazım Hikmet, Turkey's most acclaimed and popular poet, was sentenced to 28 years in prison for his communist beliefs, he embarked on the writing of his epic, Human Landscapes from My Country. In this 17,000 line verse, novel is made up of a traveler's women encounters with Turkish men and women from all walks of life. In colloquial language, Hikmet stages the private hopes and griefs, and through these many human dramas, he documents Turkey's historic transformation into a secular republic. Human Landscapes from My Country is a lively slematic able to capture the least scholarly reader. I think uh, since I have trouble uh, reading uh, books in words, I think I'm going to uh, find an audiobook of this uh, epic novel and uh, listen to it uh, for my Turkish chef project. For the letter K, the surname of our authors also starts with K. Uh, Bilge Karasu. The name of the book is The Garden of Departed Cats. Uh, this book uh, was uh, first published in 1970. Nine, uh, with the original Turkish title of Göçmüş Kediler Bahçesi. Its English edition was published in 2004. Uh, and the synopsis is as follows. Uh, in an ancient Mediterranean city, a tradition is maintained. Every 10 years, an archaic game of human chess is staged. The players, uh, visitors versus locals, bearing weapons. This archaic game, the, sort of, uh, the central event of the Garden of Departed Cats, may prove as fatal as the de deadly attraction our narrator feels for the local man who is the vizier or captain of the home team. Their romance uh, provides the ske skeletal structure of this experimental novel. Each of their brief interactions works as a single chapter, and interleaved between their chapters are a dozen fable-like stories. This book seems to have a unique structure, uh, so uh, I might either love it or uh, not really like it. But I have to try it to know. Uh, maybe I will find another uh, favorite Turkish book uh, with this one. And for E, uh, I chose an author whose name starts with E. Uh, Erandis Atasu. Uh, and the uh, name of the book is The Other Side of the Mountain. Uh, this historical fiction novel was first published in 1995 with the original title of Dağın Öteki Yüzü uh, and its English edition was published in 2000. It has a short uh, Goodreads synopsis, but uh, I think it gives uh, enough information to, uh, to have an idea what the book is about. Uh, tracing the lives of uh, two generations of a Turkish family from the Ottoman Empire to the 1990s, winner of Turkey's most prestigious literary prize, follows a daughter who journeys back to her mother's student days and Cambridge, and later struggles to find a place in Atatürk's new social order. Our last uh, letter is Y. Uh, the author that I chose is one of the uh, most uh, well-known and beloved uh, authors of uh, Turkey, Yashar Kemal. And the book that I chose is The Legend of Ararat. Uh, this epic folk story was first published in 1970 with the Turkish title of Arıda Efsanesi. It was published uh, in English in 1975. The Legend of Ararat tells the story of Ahmet and Gülbahar, who defends their tradition against Mahmut Han. Uh, Yaşar Kremaz, this novel, Heartfelt Tours, uh, Legends and Folk Tales, also tackles with the depths of human psychology. It's a very short novella, so I will get to it very soon because I really want to read more from Yashar Kemal. And lastly, I want to thank some of my international booktuber friends. I want to thank uh, Freddy, the sluggish reader from Malaysia, Rana Najar, uh, who's from Jordan, uh, A Time to Share Books, who's from uh, South Africa, Amrita by the book, uh, who's from India, and uh, Marilyn Maya Mendoza, who's from uh, Hawaii. So please comment down below. Have you read uh, 
any books uh, from the Turkish authors that I've mentioned in the stack. Would you like me to prioritize uh, one of the books uh, that I've mentioned uh, for my Turkish shelf videos? Uh, and also, if you are new here, first of all, welcome. Please like and subscribe. Hope to see you very soon. Bye. For Turkish word of the day, I chose a country uh, as a word of the day. And uh, it is also uh, contained in one of the titles that I mentioned. Country means memleket. Turkish and memleket is our Turkish word of the day. Have a good day.